Hello, my name is Natalie. Welcome to my channel Diamond Painting by Nat. And in this video, I would like to show you my completed diamond painting kit from Diamond Dots Chapel in the Snow. This kit was purchased from Michaels online for around $18, but it was that cheap because I had a gift card for $25 plus. It was already on sale for around $40, and on top of it, I also had a voucher or a coupon for um, 10 bucks more or something like this so um although the original price is kind of expensive around 60 dollars i ended up paying uh, maybe 18 dollars for it i actually saw this kit maybe six months ago and fell in love with it but unfortunately it was way too expensive and i managed to purchase it only <laughs> six months later so this size of the kit is 40 by 50 centimeters so 16 by 20 inches uh, the uh, the canvas is fabric based. It's woven polyester. This kit contained um, thirty colors, and it is a full square drill diamond painting kit from Diamond Dots. It was super easy to diamond paint this kit, although it did have a lot of uh, confetti. Uh, but the only thing that I did not like about it that originally it came with resin drills only it did not have any ab colors and diamond dots is famous for its wonderful very faceted um ab uh, diamonds unfortunately this one had only resin drills but as you um have already noticed i did customize this kit and replaced a few colors with the ab and crystals specifically the um, um blue shades on the river along with the yellow shades and i also replaced white color with white ab's that i had left from my other diamond dots kits along with the stored um, square drills from uh, tina diamond painting this uh, with sparklers that i had purchased um, uh, several months before i started uh, diamond painting this kit I also did add crystals in the windows on the church or on the chapel. The camera doesn't really show it, but if you look at it vertically and in real life, it does give the illusion of the real light coming out of the window. But I'm not entirely happy with 
my modifications. Christmas tree is another area where I replaced resin drills with the crystals along with this um, area. This is the snow and the reflection on, of the light that is coming from the Christmas tree and from the um, light in the windows on the snow. To tell you the truth, I'm really very disappointed with myself because it turned out to be way more dull and it does not look as realistic as it was supposed to in the original kit. I would like you to compare how it looks here or better say over here the yellow shade on the Christmas tree and on the snow with uh, how it came up on my um, a completed kit and to tell you the truth I um, believe that I must up with this one. Over here the colors look bright yet very natural and the light itself looks very realistic. The right shed, shade and the perfect color combination and color selection. As to mine, it looks really very dull, not as bright and not as natural as on the original kit. It's the lesson for me. I always uh, mentioned that when replacing the drills, the customization should be in accents crystal accents, not entirely replace um, blocks of colors. And unfortunately, this is the mistake that I made. And um, it doesn't look as good as it could be if I just randomly added some crystal accents on the tree, but mm, kept the original resin drills uh, on 99% of the Christmas tree. And the entire area here on the snow would be diamond painted with the original yellow shade. Other than that, I'm very happy with how the skit turned out. The rendering is amazing. The color selection is perfect. The digitalization is superb as always. Um, the size is small, yet there are a lot of, mm, you know, objects, especially on the background. But look at the Christmas, uh, look at the trees, look at the pines, right? over here on the background, they just look so detailed and so natural. So I really love how it turned out, but, but I do hope that you will keep my mistakes in mind and you wouldn't be replacing um, uh, entire colors on the uh, Christmas tree and in this area on the snow when if you decide to um, diamond paint this very kit. So I'm going to frame it and show you how it looks framed. I will also leave the link um, to the skit in Michaels in the description box below. You can also find it on Diamond Dots official website, but unfortunately it is more expensive over there than in Michaels because Michaels always has sales, it all sales events, it always has um, promo codes like 40% of the original price and stuff. So you would definitely buy um, it much cheaper from there. And that's how the diamond painting looks framed. Here it is. I'm really very sorry for the uh, glare. On. So at least when it stands vertically, it gives some impression of the real sparkle. Uh, because unfortunately, the camera does not show the whole sparkle the way I see it in real life. So I'm in love with this kit. The only thing that I did incorrectly was replacing whole blocks of colors instead of just adding a few accents and keeping the original yellow shade to give this diamond painting kit a more realistic look when it comes to the light reflection on the snow and the Christmas tree. So just keep it in mind. But look at the river, at the water. This effect is achieved thanks to the square crystals that I added instead of the um, resin drills. And I love how it looks. 
So I'm really very happy with my customization when it comes to the um, white snow, when it comes to the river, and when it comes to the light in the window. But unfortunately, I messed up with the Christmas tree and uh, the reflection of the light here on the snow. Uh, as to the frame, the frame was uh, really very cheap. I think I buy it like buy one get one free for $15 in Michaels uh, since it is a standard size 40 by 50 centimeters it was not a um, it was not a problem for me to uh, find the frame so this is it for today thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video again the link to the kit will be in the description box below see you soon